So I'm happy to be here, and I'd like, uh, it's my honor to have a speech here to you. And I'm invited because I led a team that divided a, a smart education plan recently announced by the government. So right now, uh, you know, Ministry of uh, Education, Science and Technology is developing implementation plan. So today I want to share the basic ideas of the plan. So for every country has a kind of problem in education. But uh, Korea also has a specific problem. But some of the problems probably uh, I can probably I can find the similar problem in Brazil and uh, in Brazil. But basically, education in industrial societies has been for mass education and mass dis mass, dis ma mass distribution. So many people gathered at a place at a specific time to listen the same knowledge. And also, another aspect of industrial society's education is that it has provided a standardized knowledge. So every student read the same thing, they watch the same video, they watch the uh, same uh, multimedia content. So uh, that is a, another problem of, uh, that we can face nowadays in most world. Another problem of, uh, we can observe nowadays is that uh, education in industrial societies has been broadcasting, especially unidirectional broadcasting. Sometimes that's why classroom is called uh, lecture theater. Then what is the difference between this one and this one? So basically, two structure, two, two room structures are the same. It is to share the same information at the same time. So because of that problem, uh, but we need to think about why we can observe that kind of issues in industrial uh, societies. Because it is because the cost. As you can see here, uh, once in Korea, the number of students in middle school per class exceeded 60 persons. But nowadays, it reached to around 30 students per class. But why that happened? Because as the economy grows, income grows, and we can cover the cost. So that's why we can reduce the class size. But still, they are learning the same content at the same classroom. So sometimes you may heard in newspaper, uh, the president of the uh, US, Barack Obama, sometimes eulogized the Korean educational service as a successful case. But as you can see here, there's no fun, no participation. What they are doing is just uh, sleeping, sometimes resting. You know why that happens? Because they already studied. Because in Korea, parents, if kids go to first grade, they try to teach fifth grade content, not just the first grade content. Why? Because if they learn faster than the other student, then their kid can go forward than the other student. So it's like a kind of a, uh, infinite competition among families. So studies became a family business, family business rather than individual business. So then why? Why, again, students are so uninterested in education at school? Because there are, well, uh, there are a couple of reasons, but the first reason probably, in industrial society, education, as I said before, it is a mass production system. Under that situation, teachers will focus on the, the average level of a student. But those who are above average, they won't be interested in what they are learning because they are studying another subject. So they are not interested. Those below average, they are also not satisfied with education because they don't understand what teacher explains in class. So among large number of students, only a small number of students are satisfied in current educational system. So 
if we focus on the performance of Korean education, in a sense, Korea is doing well because according to OECD uh, data, in terms of reading, writing, calculating, Korean students are performing as good as a Finland student. But when the educational competitiveness is measured by another institution, Korea is far behind Finland and also students' level of understanding, their satisfaction level of, uh, satisfaction level of educational services is far behind Finland case. So uh, what is the dark side of a Korean education system? There are a couple of uh, data I can give you. Students stay more than 10 hours uh, per day, so they are exhausted. But once they come to uh, home, they also study at home. So they usually sleep, especially in high school, they usually sleep up until 12 o'clock. So they are also tired. That's why if they go to school, they are sleeping there. Then why is competition in Korea so fierce? Because education officially is a, a way of transferring knowledge generation to generation. But education functions another role, which is a screening device. So in, there is information asymmetry between employers and employees. In that case, when competition gets fierce, students try to get better uh, specifications. They try to uh, decorate himself with better specifications. That is a kind of, that's why in Korea, education is a family business rather than individual uh, business. So that's why in order to solve that problem, we devised a kind of a smart education plan. We are trying to renovate mass educational system into individualized learning system using IT technology. Smart means a self-directed, motivated, adapted, resource-enriched, and technology embedded. So basic idea is simple. So all the education is focused on 3L function. 3L function means the reading, writing, arithmetic, calculation. But we are trying to let students design their learning path. So by individualizing. So that is one, uh, one, 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 one aspect of a smart education. And also, it is a kind of a, uh, using IT system, we are trying to build a cloud. In that cloud, all many uh, various types of content will be unloaded on cloud. And students will get access to that account, uh, cloud using uh, smart devices. So it is a kind of a resource in which to service, and surely, in order to support, in order to realize that idea, we are trying to roll out technologies at all schools. And also, students design their learning under the guidance of a teacher, so it, it will be self-directed, and also study, uh, and also students study when they feel appropriate. So it is a kind of a motivated. So, but nowadays, students meet at a specific place at a specific time, but we are trying to realize a kind of environment where students can study anywhere, anytime. So basically, the objective of a smart education plan is that in Korea, currently, the competition among students is so fierce. So we try to cool down that system by cooling down what we are thinking is that we can save energy, money, and we can make the uh, learning environment better. So basic idea is that uh, let's humanize our current educational system. You may uh, think, oh, pretty odd, but because you may heard many times Korea has excellent educational system, but inside, Everybody complaining in Korea. Our system is not working well. So somehow we are trying to humanize our educational system. So let me introduce a few major policy ideas. The first is that we are trying to, what we are visioning is that in future, students so far in school Teachers are knowledge delivers. 
they have superior knowledge compared to student. That's why they can share. They share unidirectionally with the student. So it was like a teacher-oriented system. But in the future, but we, after uh, realizing these ideas, education will be the student-centered learning. So basically, as you can see here, picture, there's a, there will be a kind of a consultation process between teachers and students. So we are trying to allow students to choose their career path as soon as, they, as soon as possible. So once they choose their career path, teacher will follow how students learn what is needed for that career. So nowadays, in Korea, teachers are simply delivering what they studied in college. But from now on, we are trying to change their behaviors, their roles in school. So that's why we are trying to build smart education centers uh, in major cities where teachers retrained, re-educated, and we are also trying to train them how to use smart devices. Also, one of the major policy is that adopting a digital textbook. As you can see here, students are using tablets, but digital textbook is not just textbook. It is a kind of uh, a gateway because many people may think digital textbook will simply contain the information stored in printed textbook. What we are thinking is that digital textbook is, has that kind of information, but it is a, just a small portion. Digital, digital textbook will function as a guide to student to uh, lead them, lead the student to follow what they uh, want. So it means that also digital textbook is connected to cloud. So if student can contact the expert in communities, the expert in the other countries. So that's why it is a kind of a gateway. When we develop digital textbook concept, redefining, uh, in a sense, the textbook concept, we don't want to use actually textbook. So that's why, for the time being, we talked about what word can be used to describe that new something that guides the student. So, but we cannot find the proper word. That's why we are using the textbook word. But probably soon, we will, we will find a proper word. Then we're going to throw away the concept. And this slide gives you a kind of a, uh, uh, an interface of the uh, digital textbook. Probably this is quite similar uh, be, uh, because Prototype is already developed by uh, uh, many countries, uh, many firms in many countries. But basically, it has a kind of a uh, multimedia content in it. But simply providing knowledge is not the main role of the uh, digital textbook. After learning, students will take a test using textbook. Then that information will deliver to teachers. Teachers will monitor how students follow the learning test, and teacher will give a guide. The other major project of a smart education plan of Korea is that establishing a prototype of future school. Future school has three characteristics. The first one is it must be a smart school. It means that it is a school that realizing the concept of smart education. And it is a connected school. It is connected to network. It is connected to community. It is connected to outside experts. And also, it is a eco-friendly uh, school. And, and, and it also will be safe school and fun school. So let me show you uh, what we are thinking of as a future school. In, in future school, there is no distinction between playing and learning. They will be combined. And also, in future school, 
theoretical learning and practicing will be combined. And also, in future school, students learn more of multimedia content. So in Korea, there's a research institution which is called CARIS, Korea Educational Research and Information Service. If you visit that website, there is a link to a prototype of future school. Actually, I made a link, so later you may, if you're interested in, you can visit that place. Then, what will be the future shape of learning? What we are thinking is that, so far, in what we are using is that, we are using, you know, in order to communicate, we are using ears, eyes, we, and, and also in order to deliver information, I'm using voice. But I is a broadband communication tool. We can deliver lots of information using eyes at a very short time. But actually, we are using linearly our eyes. So when, we, when you read a textbook, you read line by line. You are following the logics of the writer. But what if, if we can use our eyes more efficiently. So if you look at the movie, there are two movies. One is Six Day, the other one is Matrix, in which eyes are connect through eyes, human brains are connected to network. In Matrix, human brains are jacked into network. So anyone can search human brains. But it is not just a science fiction movie. If you look at the last picture, it is really we are either be possible soon in the future. Then, finally, the objective of making smart education plan is we are trying to solve a problem that we are facing in Korean environment. So where smart education solve current problems of current problems of education? We believe, yes, it is solved. Why? Because even if we adopt, if we realize smart education, a student works he saw her own way as an individual, even though they work together. It means that they are following their own path. Then we can reduce the competition among students. So that is the, our actually dream that we are trying to realize soon. Thank you for listening. <laughs>